नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी यून इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ टूडेज ब्रीफिंग वी आर हैविंग थ्री हाईलाइट्स फर्स्ट इज दैट हैवी टू वेरी एवरी इनफॉल एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड ईस्ट सेंट्रल इंडिया डूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव डेज एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दैट इंक्रीज इज एक्सपेक्टेड ओवर पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया डूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ऑगस्ट एंड थर्ड आई वी हैव मैंशन यर पॉइंट दैट अलॉन्ग द बेस्ट कोर्स देर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ इंक्रीज इन रेनफॉल ऑन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड अगस्त हाउ एवर आर रिडक्शन इन रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ साउथ पेंसिल इंडिया लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू डूर ड्यूरिंग द सेम पीरियड दैट इज ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव डेज दैट इज ड्यूरिंग थर्ड थर्टी जुलाई टू Uh, this third of August. So this is the three highlights. Now, this is yesterday's observed weather. You can see that uh, orange uh, color shows that we are happy to very evident fall is realized. Accordingly, one station in Bihar reported uh, up to order of 16 rainfall. In Jharkhand also, this uh, very evident fall is uh, realized. And uh, over Odisha, one of the station reported uh, very evident fall of the order of 13 in the district of Kandamal. in the eastern parts of rajasthan and also this uh, madhya maharashtra reported very evident fall and uh, this assam meghalaya and uh, gangetic west bengal western parts of rajasthan haryana gujarat region and konkan goa reported uh, heavy rainfall this uh, sikkim region also reported uh, very heavy rainfall during past 24 hours so these are the synoptic system prevailing today yesterday is low pressure area over north odisha and uh, west bengal coast now seen over North West Bay of Bengal and adjoining uh, areas of North Odisha and uh, West Bengal coasts. One trough runs from North West Bihar to this uh, cyclone circulation associated with the low pressure area and low topographic levels. And today monsoon trough uh, shifted slightly northwards and now runs from Amritsar across central parts of UP, that is Uttar Pradesh and uh, this Bihar, Jharkhand and Gangetic uh, West Bengal, and uh, reach to this uh, center of low pressure area and then uh, dipping to East Central Bay of Bengal. And today we are having uh, one western disturbance. Is that it was seen roughly 69 degree east and 30 degree north. Today it is seen over 70 73 degree east and 30 degree north. That is roughly over Pakistan region as it rough. So these are the some of the synoptic systems. Accordingly, this uh, parts of east and parts of north east India, you can see that uh, there is a cloudiness uh, which is likely to occur when fall over this region. Now let us. Uh, see the influence of these synoptic systems accordingly for day one this warning is issued for uh, valid for next 24 hours you can see that very heavy rainfall is expected over bihar jharkhand and uh, odisha region and uh, accordingly orange color is given there and heavy rainfall is expected over northeast india gangetic in west bengal eastern parts of uttar pradesh especially northeast uttar pradesh and uh, eastern parts of madhya pradesh chatisgarh western parts of madhya pradesh eastern parts of rajasthan gujarat region especially south gujarat region konkan and goa and northern parts of ghat areas of madhya maharashtra this ghat areas of madhya maharashtra northern parts may experience also uh, one or two stations very heavy rainfall during next 24 hours if you see the warning map for day 2 that is valid for 31st of july you can see that uh, this activity of heavy very heavy rainfall over jharkhand and odisha likely to continue uh, however bihar and uh, gangetic west bengal likely to experience heavy rainfall and heavy rainfall also likely over parts of northeast india eastern parts of uttar pradesh especially southeast uttar pradesh eastern parts of mp north chatisgarh western parts of madhya pradesh eastern parts of rajasthan ghat area of madhya maharashtra and konkan and goa where green color shows you uh, may we we may call that like to moderate rainfall activity over green green areas so there is a possibility of uh, this like to moderate rainfall activity over uh, green areas also However, this yellow and orange color is the heavy sword warnings. Now, day three, this uh, activity of East India, North East India, likely to continue on first uh, of August, and uh, this Odisha likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall. Otherwise, yellow patches shows that uh, there is a possibility of heavy rainfall over parts of North East India, East India, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Konkan, Goa, and Madhya Maharashtra. So these are the zones. Uh, so from this, you can see that Uttarakhand likely to start. from 1st of august heavy rainfall activity now this activity will increase from second over northwest india accordingly himachal pradesh uttarakhand uh, this punjab haryana chandigarh delhi uttar pradesh likely to experience heavy rainfall and the east of rajasthan likely to continue the heavy rainfall activity and the central india including east mp and chhattisgarh likely to receive heavy rainfall parts of east india including bihar jharkhand and west bengal 
likely to experience heavy rainfall and heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to experience over uh, Odisha and uh, this activity will increase over northeast India accordingly orange color is given to Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tukra, especially Nagaland and uh, uh, Manipur region and this uh, heavy rainfall also likely to continue over Konkan and Goa and Madh Maharashtra and coastal Karnataka, Karnataka likely to experience heavy rainfall otherwise this uh, most parts of South Central India likely to experience light to moderate activity and if we see the day 5 that is valid for 3rd of August you can see that this North East India likely to continue to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall on 3rd of August and however the possibility of reduction in rainfall over Gangetic West Bengal and Jharkhand however Bihar sub and West Bengal and Sikkim, eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha likely to experience heavy rainfall and heavy rainfall activity likely to continue over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana on 3rd of August and this activity also likely to continue over Konkan Goa, Madhya Maharashtra and coastal Karnataka. So these are the uh, five days warnings and now let us see the guidance for flood and uh, flash flood during next 24 hours. So this map is uh, showing that there is a possibility of moderate flood risk over Chhattisgarh, especially North Chhattisgarh, North Odisha, Nigetic West Bengal and uh, uh, associated region or adjoining region of Jharkhand. So this Mayurbhanj and adjoining area and here in uh, this uh, Jharsuda region, Simdega region, um, we experience uh, this uh, Saraikela region, uh, Purulia region, we experience moderate uh, uh, flood risk during next 24 hours and uh, if you see the northeast India so this region uh, especially this uh, Chaura Chandapur region this uh, Impal, Chahar, Karimganj, East Kashi Hills likely to experience uh, moderate uh, uh, flood plus uh, flash flood risk during next 24 hours. So this map is issued for Konkan and Goa region for flash flood guidance. So according to this guidance, this uh, Raigad and uh, Ratnagiri region may experience moderate flood risk because of uh, saturated soil. Now let us uh, uh, discuss about the impact of heavy rainfall activity. So during the heavy rainfall, this low lying areas may experience uh, uh, butter uh, logging and uh, underpass, uh, especially in urban areas, uh, may experience some um, butter logging. And uh, during uh, heavy rainfall activity, this visibility may be reduced. Accordingly, you should be aware about uh, this uh, driving while driving over national highways or roads. And uh, this is uh, uh, because of heavy rainfall, this disruption in traffic uh, may experience in major cities due to water logging and uh, it may increase travel time. And this is also possibility of uh, uh, there is may impact of heavy rainfall over uh, these kacha roads and uh, possibility of damage to vulnerable structures especially and these uh, loosely structures and uh, uh, there may be localized landslide or mudslides especially in hilly regions and the damage may be expected to this standing crops because of heavy rainfall activity and uh, rivers may be uh, riverine flooding may be there accordingly you can follow the guidelines issued by central water commission in this regard Accordingly, generalized impact I have mentioned even on daily basis that avoid going areas where there is a possibility of uh, water logging and avoid staying in structures uh, which are uh, expected to uh, experience damage because of heavy rainfall and check for traffic advisories if any has been issued in your, uh, uh, in your city or in your village and also follow the guidelines of Central Water Commission and other state government and central government authorities regarding this uh, heavy rainfall warning. So this is uh, all about today's briefing. We will discuss uh, tomorrow with updated information. Till then, Namaskar, Jai Hind.